Welcome to Sage Audio. Today we're creating a hip hop mastering chain. But first, if you have a mix that you need to have mastered, send it to us to receive a free mastered sample of it with the link in the description. Starting with Midside EQ. I'm gonna use this Midside EQ to first make the lows more mono by attenuating the side images, low frequencies. Now on the same side image, I'll boost a little around 400 Hertz to add depth to the synth and dip around two kilohertz to allow the vocal to cut through. Now on the mid image, I'll attenuate some of 250 Hertz to demask the vocal and boost the vocal range around two kilohertz. Since the effect is gonna be subtle, let's instead take a listen to the full A and B of the original gain normalized mix and the finished master. My mind is out of their range. I'm healing the funnel to pain. Let me stop for a minute to see all this shit that we never did think we would see. We was just kids in the cul de sac. Tend to class with a giant heart. The memory caught in a photograph. I used to sit on the roof with my daddy, then listen to trains go by. Then later he told me he used to do things to numb out the feel of his brain on fire. Very subtle resonance reduction. With this resonance reducer, I'm gonna very subtly attenuate excess frequencies. This is gonna make the master clearer and sound more balanced. I started with this balance preset and adjusted the pre-emphasis bands until I felt that the track sounded most balanced. Let's take a listen to it, as well as the delta to hear what's being attenuated. My mind is out of their range. I'm healing the funnel to pain. Let me stop for a minute to see all this shit that we never did think we would see. We was just kids in the cul-de-sac. Tend to class with a giant heart. The memory card. If you're enjoying the video, hit the like button and subscribe if you haven't already. It's free and it helps us bring you more videos. Maximization to fill mix. Next, I wanted to maximize the signal, but ensure that I didn't change the timbre of the mix too much. So I picked this Weiss maximizer and increased the amount in the parallel mix level until I was just barely getting some attenuation at the output. Also, I found that the loud setting sounded best. Let's take a listen and notice how maximization brings up quieter details and makes the mix sound fuller. My mind is out of their range. I'm healing the funnel to pain. Let me stop for a minute to see all this shit that we never did think we would see. We was just kids in the cul-de-sac. Tend to class with a giant heart. The memory caught in a photograph. I used to sit on the roof with my daddy, then listen to trains go by. Then later he told me he used to do things to numb out the feel of his brain on fire. Split EQ to center lows. Now, although I've always liked this plugin, I was surprised by how significant of a change it made for this particular mix. With it, I boosted the transients of the lows and some of the tone, dipped some of the tone around 250 hertz, and added some tone and transients to the vocal range. Lastly, I boosted some of the high frequency transients. Now, what really made a difference though, was the mid-side panning on the lows and the highs. On the low end, I centered the transient band, which gave the 808 a huge and aggressive sound. On the highs, I spread the bands to the side image. Now due to the extra transients, I had to lower the output for the sake of having this demo not clip, so you'll notice it sounds quieter. However, you should notice a big improvement in the low frequencies. My mind is out of their range. I'm healing the funnel to pain. Let me stop for a minute to see all this shit that we never did think we would see. We was just kids in the cul-de-sac. Tend to class with a giant heart. The memory caught in a photograph. I used to sit on the roof with my daddy, then listen to trains go by. Then later he told me he used to do things to numb out the feel of his brain on fire. Program dependent, saturation. Next, I wanted to add some saturation, so I used this multiband processor and distorted the lows, mids, and highs separately. For the lows and the mids, I went with a warm tube setting. For the highs, I chose a clean tube setting to keep the transients detailed and bright. With envelope followers, I modulated the drive amounts of each band, depending on the incoming transient to make the distortion dynamic. So let's take a listen to how this fills the sound and adds a distinct character to the mix. Mind is out of their range. I'm healing the funnel to pain. Let me stop for a minute to see all this shit that we never did think we would see. We was just kids in the cul de sac. Tend to class with a giant heart. The memory caught in a photograph. I used to sit on the roof with my daddy, then listen to trains go by. Then later he told me he used to do things to numb out the feel of his brain on fire. Fresh Air, the Brighton Mix. This Fresh Air plugin sounds great on a hip hop master since it amplifies and excites the high frequency range. It's easy to use. I just amplified the two bands until the mix sounded bright enough and then dialed the trim back a little to compensate. Be sure not to overuse this plugin since it can become aggressive quickly. Let's take a listen to how it brightens the mix. My mind is out of their range. I'm healing the funnel to pain. Let me stop for a minute to see all this shit that we never did think we would see. We was just kids in the cul de sac. Tend to class with a giant heart. The memory caught in a photograph. I used to sit on the roof with my daddy, then listen to trains go by. Then later he told me he used to do things to numb out the feel of his brain on fire. 
High frequency, bus. So far we finished all of the processing that I'll do to the original track, so let's create a bus on which we'll insert three processors. First a linear phase EQ that isolates the high frequencies, then a mid-side router with which we'll mute the mid image, and then finally a transient expander. By isolating the high frequencies of the side image and then expanding their transients, we can now blend in a track that determines the brightness, the width, and the punchiness of our stereo image. So let's take a listen to it, blend it in. My mind is out of their range. I'm killing the funnel to pay. Let me stop for a minute to see all this shit that we never did think we would see. We was just kids in the cul de sac. To sit on the roof with my daddy, then listen to trains go by. Then later he told me he used to do things to numb out the feel of his brain on fire. If you're enjoying the channel, use the search box to watch more of our videos. Golfos EQ Shaping. Moving on to the master output, I'll use this Golfos EQ to shape the response and reduce masking. I isolated the processing to the low mids and to the highs to keep my kick and my 808 unaffected, and I also used a good amount of the brighten function to increase the mix's clarity. Let's take a listen to how this makes the track clearer and louder by reducing masking. My mind is out of their range. I'm healing the funnel to pain. Let me stop for a minute to see all this shit that we never did think we would see. We was just kids in the cul de sac. Ten the class with a giant heart. The memory caught in a photograph. I used to sit on the roof with my daddy, then listen to trains go by. Then later he told me he used to do things to numb out the feel of his brain on fire. Hard clipping for transients. Next up for the master output, I'll use this hard clipper plugin with some detail preservation to distort my transients whenever they cross the threshold. Now this causes white noise to occur at each transient, making them more apparent while increasing the overall loudness of the track. Let's take a listen and notice how that even though they're being attenuated, the transients stay loud and punchy. My mind is out of their range. I'm healing the funnel to pain. Let me stop for a minute to see all this shit that we never did think we would see. We was just kids in the cul de sac. Tend to class with a giant heart. Two limiting stages. Last up, I'm going to use two limiters, starting with this Oxford limiter. I'll mainly use it for the enhanced function, with which we'll amplify quieter details of the mix and accentuate those clip transients that we got from the last chapter. Then, I'll use this L2 limiter with the dynamic algorithm. This will both limit the signal and expand some of the peaks, causing an aggressive and loud sound. Now the final master was roughly negative 8 LUFS, but feel free to use this chain and make yours louder or quieter as you see fit. Let's take one more final listen to the full before and after of our chain. My mind is out of their range, I'm healing the funnel to pain. Let me stop for a minute to see all this shit that we never did think we would see. We was just kids in the cul de sac, tend to class with a giant heart, the memory caught in a photograph. I used to sit on the roof with my daddy, then listen to trains go by, then later he told me he used to do things to numb out the feel of his brain on fire. If you have a mix that you need to have mastered, send it to us to receive a free mastered sample of it with the link in the description. Thank you so much for watching.